A word we throw around all the time is difficult. How difficult will the journey be? How hard is it going to be to succeed? This is more or less asking, is a desirable outcome likely? We're asking if it's worth our time, right? If something's difficult, we associate that with a low probability of success. But that's not the right way of looking at it. If you want something enough, difficult becomes your best friend. It's your greatest asset. And this is one, because of the growth that comes with it, but two, because very few people are willing to chase it down. The reality is most people are average. And that's just looking at the definition of the word, right? If everyone was great, greatness wouldn't mean anything. There's something special about it, it's unique. It sets people apart. We generally live amongst people, places, and expectations that make up everything we know. That's our normal, that's our box. But what's particularly interesting is that the people we celebrate, the accomplishments we admire, they go far beyond this sort of confined view of the world. So where is the line? Something's weird, it's abnormal, it's looked down upon until suddenly it's not. You snap your finger and it's cherished. That guitar player practicing 15 hours a day, it's lame, they don't have a real job, they're not contributing anything to society. And then he or she puts out an album that revolutionizes music and they're a hero. The whole thought process is counterintuitive. And that's why the words difficult and great are so closely related. Not because it's physically stressful, but because great comes with a hefty mental price tag. Difficult means you are consistently doing what the average, normal, and unspectacular deem to be too great a sacrifice. They're not asking if it can be done. They're not asking if it's possible. What they are really asking, what they want to know, is if they have to break through everyday normality to achieve a result. Do we have to make ourselves uncomfortable? Do we have to give more than we normally would? Do we have to be better than we were yesterday? If that answer is yes, the vast majority say thank you, but no thank you. And that's where defining opportunities open up. Great means you have the desire to set yourself apart. Difficult means you have the dedication and the drive to do the little things no one else wanted to do. There is nothing miraculous about greatness. It is not divine. It is not incredible. It's simply seeing the word difficult as a staircase instead of a brick wall. It means you get the opportunity to both give more of yourself and get more from the world. It is your secret door, your passageway. If the incremental progress, the growth, and the sacrifice are worth the prize, easy, difficult, and everything in between fades away. The only thing worth a second of your time is making sure that every step you take points you in the direction of where you want to be most. There's a saying that in order to become something new, you have to leave something behind. You have to detach in some capacity, remove yourself from the physical realm. Because the obstacles that we face are not physical. 99% of our problems are not physical, they're mental. And you know, as you sort of drive that metaphorical ship into the horizon, the biggest turn is never going to be the anchor or the headwind or the bow line. No, it's going to be the storyline. It's going to be the narrative of the person navigating that ship. And it's interesting because our first inclination when we feel stuck 
It's always to point out, attribute our problems to the world in this predetermined position within it. Maybe that's the issue. We take our power, we put it into the universe, cross our fingers, and hope things work out. But that will always be a losing proposition. It will always come crumbling down. Because it's not the world that keeps you from showing up. You're not physically incapable of taking that first step or growing or evolving, developing, becoming something new. No, that demon lives in your head. That's the mental Goliath we struggle with, right? Because there's there's cognitive dissonance between who we know ourselves to be and who we want ourselves to be. That's the sea we have to cross, the terrain we have to navigate. It's not the physicality of taking the steps. Anyone can do that. It's believing that you are worthy of the journey. And you have to ask yourself, is it that you can't become something new? Or is it that you can't, won't, refuse to detach from who you used to be? You're still tucked away in that container, that box you've been building for years and years and years that you've placed yourself in because I can promise you, one of the most liberating things to understand is yesterday is not a life sentence. Yesterday's not forever. Yesterday's not defining. It's simply a stepping stone. And every morning when you open your eyes, sun comes through the window, illuminates life around you. That's never your cue to put on a fake smile, play the same role you've been playing day after day after day. No, it's an invitation to do anything you want to do, to begin again, to start fresh. It's an opportunity to detach from that character, detach from the people, and the things that don't push you towards what you want. Detach from the negative self-talk. And when all that's gone, everything is removed and it's only you and your self-belief, a will to move forward. I promise you that pendulum shifts. Life becomes simple and how beautiful simplicity is. It's shining a spotlight on what matters. It's clarity. It's taking control. It's picking up the clay and molding what you want to mold. It's opening the door and deciding to walk through. Everything else is variable. Everything else is noise. Everything else is detail and distraction. Because what you want, it's there. And it's waiting for you to simply remove yourself from who you used to be to step into right now and believe that you are worthy of everything else to come.